Welcome back everyone. You may have just purchased your Oculus Quest 2, so let's go ahead and kind of break down exactly how to use this thing. Now, I'm no expert, but it's really not as complicated as, you know, it may appear for these specific devices. Now, if you bought these things brand new, everything you need is in the box. So you don't need to go and get new batteries or anything like that. Everything is already built in. However, if you're buying it used, that's a little bit of a different story. You may want to check the batteries and everything like that, which we'll get into in a second. Now, we'll talk about the controllers in a second. So you'll have the headset and you'll have the right and left controller. You'll have the charges and different things like that. But these are pretty much the main things. Once you take it out of the box, these are the bare minimum that you need. Now, with the headset itself, if we go and take a look at it, you pretty much see that this is the front of this specific, you know, Oculus. So this is the front. As long as you know that, then you're pretty much good. You have some camera sensors across this thing too, which is really cool. On the left side of the Oculus, you'll see that we have a headphone jack right here and we have a USB type C port. This is where you're going to go ahead and charge up your Oculus. I think there's a charger block that comes in the box, but this is pretty much where you go ahead and use that. Now on this side, you can see you have the lenses right here. So this is where you're pretty much going to go ahead and actually put your, you know, eyes <laughs> where you're going to go ahead and put this over your head. You can adjust this strap as well, which is really cool. And you adjust it by pretty much pulling on these sides like this, and then pretty much going ahead and pulling this as well. That's at least the fastest way I can tell. Now on the bottom, you also have the volume buttons. So you can go ahead and increase and decrease the volume right there. You have the camera sensor right here. And on this side, you have the power button. So on the right side, you go and hold this down and you'll basically be able to turn on your specific Oculus. Now that's it pretty much on the outside. Now on the remote side, if we go and put this down right here, you have two different remotes. So you have a left one and you have a right one. So they do tell you this on the side. You can also go ahead and, you know, maneuver it through if you want to. Now we use our controllers like this. So we pretty much have our, you know, index fingers across this and we have our thumbs pretty much on the joysticks. Now the main buttons you're going to interact with the most are these ones, the AB. You have the Oculus button right here which is you know going to be used all the time you have your menu three line button right here and pretty much once you start using the oculus it's almost like the wii remote you pretty much point to wherever which way you want to go and click on something click the a button right here and you'll pretty much go into it you can click the b button here and you'll pretty much get out of it which i'll demonstrate to you in a second you have your little you know straps down here to make sure you don't throw anything and also one important thing to keep in mind is to replace these batteries so for some reason the batteries on these specific controllers aren't working out or if they're broken, you can actually swipe the side down. There's a little, you know, thing right here that tells you to swipe it down. And you can go ahead and replace these batteries too. So this is a AA battery that you go and put in here and you can go and replace this if you want to. Typically if you bought a brand new, you don't even have to worry about this at all. These batteries last a fairly long amount and you go and slide it back in just like this and you're pretty much good to go. And there's a battery in both of these as well. So that's pretty much it on the outside of both of these. Now another important thing like I mentioned is adjusting the headband. Now when you first put this on it's going to take you through a setup and the setup is pretty much going to tell you exactly how to use this thing. Honestly if you've ever used a phone before like an iPhone or Android the setup is pretty much the same thing. You just kind of have to get used to playing this specific controller, playing with these specific Oculus head headset and all that stuff. So it's really not a crazy big deal. It's not super hard. I'm not super into VR. I'm not really like an expert in VR AR but I was still able to do it which is totally cool. Now, like I mentioned earlier, adjusting the headband. So first of all, you want to go ahead and put this over your head and see if it fits fine. If it fits fine, you don't have to worry about it. You want to go ahead and pull these straps on both ends like this if you want it to become tighter. If you want it to become looser, then you go ahead and pretty much pull this side in like this and then both sides in until it gets loosened and it becomes tighter. So for me, pretty much the loosest one, I have kind of a big head, I guess. So I pulled in like that and I pretty much pulled in like this. I don't even know if there's a better way to do this, but this is the way I've been doing it and it pretty much been working for me. Now on top of that, these lenses inside, Oculus, you know, the, the setup on Oculus is going to tell you to adjust these lenses, but if you ever need to do it, if it, it's kind of like, if it, the resolution isn't great or if it seems blurry, what you can always do is push it closer to your head so make this tighter, but also you can go ahead and move these lenses inside. So you don't want to touch the actual glass. So avoid touching it. If you even have to go into it like I am, you may want to grab like a microfiber cloth or something, but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pull this inwards like this and it'll click. You can also pull it outwards like that and it'll click as well. So you can just keep making it bigger or tighter. For me, the middle one is pretty good, but that's pretty much it. It's really nothing super crazy. Now, like I mentioned, the beginning setup is very basic. There's nothing crazy about it. I will go ahead and showcase to you the menu setup real quick. Now I am streaming this straight to my iPhone right here. 
So during the setup, you will see that you will need the Oculus app. So once you have the Oculus app set up, you can go and do this. And I will make a bunch of videos on my second channel of pretty much the basic process of using your Oculus and different things like how to stream it on your iPhone. It's a little bit of a different process, but I'll go and show you the basics. So I'm going to go ahead and put this Oculus over my head. Now, as you can see, you can see my Oculus screen right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to you the same exact way I would do it on my screen, as well as with the controllers. So the first thing you want to do is grab your controller while the Oculus is set up. So this is after the setup process. So now you should be able to see exactly what I'm seeing. And you can see I'm sticking my controller out. You can see that it's also moving this wand around too. So like I mentioned, these are the buttons that you typically normally, you know, kind of mess around with. And you should still be able to see. So I have to keep breaking it up. Pretty much the basic layout of this menu is you'll have your name up here. You can go and kind of configure your settings around a little bit. Up here, you'll have your preferences. So you can go ahead and click on preferences right here and kind of maneuver through different things you're into. And this is a great way of seeing what other apps and stuff that are available with an Oculus. Now if, you want, now, if you ever want to go back on your Oculus, you can go and click this B button right here on the controller, and it'll go and take you back just like how I did it right here. And I may have been covering up the menu the first off. Now, here you'll pretty much see some recommended apps that you'll have every once in a while. So you can go and download them like Beat Saber and all these different applications, which are really cool. Now, you can maneuver through this menu by going down and up on your joystick little thing option right here. So you can see on my joystick, I'm going up and down. It'll go ahead and move these options up and down too, which is really cool. Now on the left side, you'll have your little explore panel. So you can go ahead and explore different apps. You can go and move your, you know, from your apps. So if you have different apps that you have, you can go and move from them. Some entertainment apps, some, some of your friends activities and different things like this, if you have your friends on Facebook and some saved options as well. So that's pretty much it for this option. It's nothing super crazy. You can go ahead and if you ever want to search for anything, you can click on the top and you can search for things too, like free games and different things like that. Now at the bottom, you'll go ahead and see that you actually have some options down here. Now I have my other controller right here and you can see that and you and it's pretty cool because you can see the controllers in my hands and it's actually a really cool thing. It's kind of trippy at first, but it's just a really awesome thing. Now down here, you'll be able to see a couple of more options. So right here, you can go and if you click on it, you can go and configure. I don't know why there's so many lines here. Now in this option, in this quick toggle, you can go ahead and actually click on you can go and configure your sound up here. You can go and configure your brightness up here. You can also hop into your settings right here. And these are a bunch of different options that you should go ahead and kind of, you know, get used to seeing. So up here, you can click on system. If you have any updates or anything, you can click there. If you want to configure your Wi-Fi, your boundary, when you first set it up, you'll understand what that is. Some different personalization settings, your accounts, if you want to add accounts, configure your notifications from your phone and all that stuff, different app permissions, storage, you know, how much storage it has 128 gigs built in your hands and your different controllers that you have, accessibility options, privacy options, security options, and experimental options as well. And again, if you ever wanna go out, you can go and click this B button right here, and it'll go and take you back. Now in this case, if you ever wanna hop back here, you can go and click here, and it'll take you back into your quick settings. Now here, you can go and configure your you know, Wi-Fi options as well, your guardian room scale, and a couple of different quick toggles down here. Now these can be configured as far as I know, so you can go and you know, reset your view, you can turn on and off your microphone, you can increase your night, you can turn on night display, you can turn on do not disturb, you can go and do some voice commands, you can also report a problem, and you can also, you can also pass through home, which is really cool. Now we can go and hop out a quick toggle like here, and here pretty much just gives you back your profile and different notifications as well. Now here are some different applications. Now you have your internet, now you have your explore option here, your store, your people, and your sharing options as well. So at this point, if everything looks good, you can also see all of your applications here by clicking on apps and you will see all the apps that you have available. So if you download any games or you have any options, you can go and maneuver through them here. And again, I'm pretty much moving my controller like this. So if you ever want to do anything, again, it's like a Wii remote, you're moving your controller. Now at this point, if you want to open up your TV, you can go through here. Now these are tons of different apps that you can go and download. These aren't all of them. But a cool thing is, is under, you know, browser. So if you go and click on browser right here, you can pretty much see that is a full-fledged internet browser. So here you can go and use your internet and everything like that if you want to. So if we go to Google right here, you can go and have a full on Google browser, which is so cool. So now you can go and search up if you want to. So if we, you know, 18 Verizon, you know, 5G rollout, whatever. And it's a full fledged internet browser, which is so cool. So you can go on any website that you want to. And again, everything that I'm doing isn't crazy. You should be able to do this for sure. Now, if you ever want to exit out of something, you can go and exit out of application here or you can minimize the app. So if you click minimize, look what happens. It'll go ahead and minimize it. And you might be wondering, wait, where do I go? Well, at the bottom, like I mentioned, this is pretty much your dock. So if you want to go back to your internet browser, you can go and open it right here and it'll come back open. You can also exit out of it and look, remember this little toggle that we had here? If we click X, it's going to exit out and if it's not going to be here anymore. Now you can go back to your explore page here. This is where the familiarity is. You can also go back into your apps right here. You can open up something else if you want to.
So let's say we want to go back to our you know, settings, for example. We can click on settings, it'll come straight here. We can also go ahead and click here, and we can go and click on our browser, and we can go ahead and open up our browser again. So it may take a second, you know, it usually takes a little bit of time to load. And there you go, you're back into your browser. You can go and click on these three options here. You can go and go back, forward, refresh the page. And if any time you have any questions or anything, you can always search them up straight into your internet browser as well. So if you want to say how, this usually take a long time for these things. So you can go and type in as however you want to, go and click search, and then you can pretty much move on from there. So if you ever want to exit out of an app, you can go click here. And then pretty much if we go and take this Oculus off our headset, you can see it'll go and turn off on my phone display. You, you might be asking yourself now, how do you turn off your Oculus? Well, there's a couple of different options. One, you can go and set it up to where as soon as you take it off, it'll go into sleep mode. So it'll go and kind of turn off by itself in a little bit, but it's only on sleep mode. If you want to fully turn off your Oculus, what you want to do is you can go ahead and as long as you don't see this light here, it's pretty much off. You can always hold down this button to pretty much turn off. And as, turn, as soon as you see this white light, you just want to keep holding it down until it shuts off and it brights. And then it'll pretty much shut off like this. And your Oculus will pretty much fully turn off. If you want to turn it back on, you just hold down this button until the light turns back on. So go and hold it on. And I'll go and just kind of turn on once the light turns on. There you go. And your Oculus is ready to be used again. So that is pretty much a basic walkthrough and basic understanding of using your Oculus. There are a lot of different little tiny things like, you know, connecting it to your iPhone or Android, streaming it, different things like that. But I'll go and get into those details on a different video on my second channel. So that's a very basic walkthrough. You you should have a decent understanding of how to use your Oculus now. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.